Right, well, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to uh, the chip pan demonstration at Oxford Fire Station today. In front of you, as you can see, we've got a little flat laid out in front of us and this is Steve's flat. And uh, I think Steve will come in in just a second. Yeah, here he is. And as you can see, Steve's had uh, quite a good night on the town, he's had a few drinks and uh, been to the nightclub and he's just come home to have a little sit down. He's, uh, he's a bit peckish. So he, what he's going to do is, I think he's going to go and light the chip pan. So as you can see, he's lit the chip pan, quite close, and he's stuck the old telly on while he's waiting for his chips to heat up. So he sat down, had a few drinks, just sitting down, waiting for the, uh, his food to get ready. But it looks like, it looks like he's starting to fall asleep, he's a little bit tired. Can anyone see what's wrong with the chip pan at the moment? What's wrong with the chip pan? Is there a fire? Well, luckily enough for Steve, Steve's got a smoke alarm in his house. So because it's getting out of control and it's smoky, the smoke alarm has gone off. And the smoke alarm has woke Steve up. As you can see, he's a bit panicky. He sees it on light, so what's he do? He's just grabbed a glass of water. I think he's gonna chuck it, oh no, Steve. He's chucked over, what's happened? It's caused an explosion. As you can see, the smoke's come out. Yeah, As you can see, the smoke come out, it's hit the ceiling, it's coming back down, and it's causing it to go unconscious. Now, who's called the fire service at this point? Is the fire service coming? No, because he's tried to tackle it himself. So luckily for him, a neighbour has heard the smoke alarm go off, and is about to call the fire service. But all the time Steve's lying there, the fire's getting worse, the smoke's getting thicker, it's coming down, and eventually there won't be any air left for Steve to breathe. As you can see, the fire engine turns up, and because it's so hot in there and there's so much smoke, the firefighters have to wear special PPE, special clothing to protect them from it. And as you'll see in a minute, they have to wear special masks on their face to stop them breathing in that smoke. Is that loud? So as you'll see in a minute, the firefighters, they've opened the door, they've put some water in to stop the smoke exploding. They've had a look and found Steve on the floor. They need to get him out of the flat as quick as possible for the best chance of surviving and taking to hospital. Well done, they've rescued him, which is good news. But the fire's still alive, so we need to put the fire out now. So now they've rescued the fire fire, or they've rescued Steve. They're going back in to tackle the fire because they've been trained to do it. No one else should tackle it unless you've been trained to do it, which is only firefighters. And as you'll see, they'll have two means to put this out. They're going to use an extinguisher and a fire blanket. So they come in, protect themselves, staying low, because it's still hot there. They turn off the gas, stop the heat going. And they hit in there with the CO2 extinguisher and puts the fire out. I think they deserve a round of applause. Well done. So I know chip pans are quite an old way of cooking, but there's still 12,000 chip pan fires over the country every year. Um, and they result in 4,600 injuries. The best way to do it is not leave them unattended. Make sure you're conscious you haven't been drinking. Men that have been drinking are the most likely to cause a, a chip pan fire. And make sure you've got smoke gloves, so you've got an early warning. Don't ever try and tackle it. If you see a chip pan catch a light, you can turn the heat off to it, but the main thing is you get out, you stay out, and then you call the fire service out, because we're trained to put that out. Does that make sense? Well, well done. Thanks for today for watching that, and we're going to do it again later on if you want to watch it again.